Josh, what's your beer say? My beer says, panic time on Tua, question mark. How about yours? Uh, mine says, prepare for the playoffs. And prepare is spelled wrong. Yeah, it so. is. So, you ready? I'm ready. All right. I was talking fantasy football with my friends the other day. Well, Josh? Mm-hmm. Where am I now, Josh? Actually, my name is Alan. Dorky Whitekid with a Cub Scout bandana on his head. Bravo. Echo. November. Pango. On. <laughs> Football. You just take it to the next level, don't you? <laughs> I, I was in a beat. I was in a rhythm, man. I had it going. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to Benton Fantasy Football. And Josh, I got a surprise for you. What is the surprise? The surprise is that I figured it out. This is our 17th show of this season. Okay, good. Yeah, so we bored you guys 17 times, including tonight. Yes. Awesome. Thank you for, for uh, being bored with us. <laughs> um, Josh, you want to explain what we did here? What we did here um, for weeding our beers? Or... Yeah. My beer said panic time on Tua, <laughs> um, and yours had prepare spelled wrong, so My for the playoffs. Right. Yeah. Um, I I don't know if it is time to panic on Tua. I've, I've heard uh, a lot of sports writers, a lot of fantasy writers are saying the panic meter is going up with Tua. He only scored eight points against the Jets. Now, yeah. Jets are a great defense, but still, yeah, Tua it's... was a lead status in the beginning of the season, and he's starting to come down to earth. Eight points this deep in the season isn't going to get you far in the playoffs. And, and, you know, I think that's the fear that everybody had drafting him because I, I drafted him in one league, and I got him very, very late in the draft. And the other two leagues that, that I'm in, he also went late in those drafts. Yeah. Too. So I think this was the big fear. Um, he looked like the steal of the draft early in the season, but, um, yeah, his numbers are really pedestrian now, to this I, point. At this point, I wouldn't say give up on him either because he's still got Hill as a as wide receiver. And Waddle. Still, yeah, and Waddle, and he's got Mostert in the backfield. So, yeah. Um, I, I would not say give up on him, um, but buyer beware. Um, just kind of be cautious on, on when you play him. Fortunately, last week, the league that I drafted him on, I sat him for Lawrence, so I, I came out, or we came out good we on that. We came out Sorry. good on that one. Sorry. yeah. No, you, and you actually made the call on that, too, so I'll give you credit where credit's due. Um, so, yeah, that's a good job, Josh. Well, thanks, Alan. Way to be, buddy. Thank you. All right, so the reason prepare is spelled wrong on my can is because... Because you don't know how to spell it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's not it. So, I did this on purpose. Uh, the goal behind this was to... Um, actually uh, actually mess with Josh a little bit. So Josh is, 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 if you guys don't know, he's got this big fancy degree in spelling or whatever. What English is it? literature, it's not spelling. Same, same thing. <laughs> so so um, anyway. You yeah, have a bachelor's in spelling. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he uh, this this will drive him nuts. And, and as long as I leave this here in, in the dungeon, it's going to drive him nuts. So um, You already my, drive that, me nuts. So, so my goal was <laughs> to actually not show him, but just show you guys and then wait for him to watch the video because we recorded and we watch it, you know, the next day or whatever. And, or whenever the hell I can get it put up on, yeah. on YouTube. But um, to have him watch it and drive him crazy. So uh, b before the show started... It worked. I, I, <laughs> before the show started, I couldn't take it any longer because I didn't think it would be any fun laughing without him here. So <laughs> so I showed it to him and, and we had a, a little chuckle out of it, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, if only we had a little bigger budget, we could hire someone that does all the spell checking and the editing. Well, you know, you know, the thing is, though, Worldly Labels actually made this. <laughs> so... You're welcome. We'll put, I mean, we'll put whatever our dumbass customers request on the label. So, I mean, if you spell it wrong, that's up to you. We'll print it. All right, let's keep these beers open, shall All we? All right, let's do it. You guys, kick back, pop open a cold one, and, and enjoy, enjoy the show. The show. <laughs> and we are just getting started, too, man. It's going to be a lot of fun this week. Um, uh, but first and foremost, uh, please, guys, like, subscribe, and share if you haven't already done that. Uh, pass us off to a friend. Um, I didn't say that, but anyway, pass us off to a friend. Let let um, let your friend decide how how horrible we are. And on a scale of you know like absolutely terrible to I don't know up to like completely. Manning cast. Man, yeah, no. 
We're not that good. Maybe the Eli part of it. Oh, heck not, no, we're not that good. <laughs> maybe the Eli part, but not the Peyton <laughs> part. Um, but anyway, please do like, subscribe, and share. Um, you know, send us over to your friends. Have them uh, take a look at it and see if they, they're interested in watching. We do this for fun. Um, we're not trying to make a buck. Um, you'll never see an advertisement on here until we get to 1,000 subscribers. So keep <laughs> subscribing if you would. Um, <laughs> we'll never monetize this Ever. until we get monetized. <laughs> Basically, is so what he's saying. We're not going to monetize this till we make money off of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, please, please, please do it. Like I said, we do this for fun every week. And we have a good time doing it. Um, we like having you guys uh, watch our, our show. Um, so please do that. We love it. Yes. Yeah. Um, let's jump into Gub. Um, Gub. For, the, for those of you who are new also, uh, Gub stands for Got Us Spent. What's Got Us Spent? What's Gub? So yeah, what's Gub? So Josh, what's Gub? You're not going to like this, but it's the College Football Prognosticators. Um, college football again. Here we go. Pac-12 right. Championship is coming up uh, tomorrow. Or no, uh, Friday. So, Washington already beat Oregon once by three points. Now, Washington's undefeated. Oregon has that one loss. Why is Oregon a nine-and-a-half point favorite in a neutral site? So, Alan, just go to sleep. <laughs> but who the hell, the prognosticators, who the hell set that line? I just, I don't, I don't agree with it, and it's... Stupid. All right. Well, that would have me bent too if I knew what the hell you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, it, it, it would if you knew what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> All right. Um, nothing really has me bent this week. Um, but what actually kind of tickled my funny bone was uh, watching the Bears game on Monday night. Um, terribly boring game through the first half. Uh, second half got a little bit more interesting than at the very, very end. The last play of the game got really comical. Um, I don't know if you guys seen it or not, um, but Minnesota had a few seconds left on the clock. They had time for one play um, in, in their own territory. Um, so they have two options, right? They're going to throw a bomb, you know, Hail Mary, or... The Dobbs can't throw that far, so they right. have to go to the other option. Right, which is to uh, throw it off probably in the middle of the field and start throwing it back and forth and lateraling it. Multilateral, that's so whatever, the only way to win. When he, what, whoever can get the ball in the end zone wins. Um, so... That being said, um, as soon as that play happened, I looked at CBS Sports and I, I um, did a screenshot of the description <laughs> of the play. The play-by-play. Play. The play-by-play. Play. And it's it's very, very interesting how it goes. I'm going to read it to you guys and, I'm, and I'll, I'll zip through this um, because you, you'll you you'll lose me after about three seconds here. Um, <laughs> so, I, and I'm just going to use last names on this. So it says, uh, Dobbs pass short middle to Osborne to Chicago 43 for 23 yards. Fumbles. Recovered by Madison at the Chicago 44. Uh, Madison to the Chicago 45 for negative one yard. Fumbles. Recovered by Osborne at the second time he's had the ball. Yep. Osborne at the 40, at the Chicago 45. Osborne to Chicago 48 for negative three yards. Uh, lateral to Addison to Minnesota 45 for negative seven yards. Lateral to Dobbs to Chicago 49 for six yards. Penalty on Dobbs. Illegal forward pass declined. End the game. End the game. It doesn't say end the game, but it was the end of the game. So, the interesting part of this is that through all of that whole description, they only missed about seven or eight fumbles and laterals in that in that whole thing. If you guys seen this, you heard the announcers at the end say, "Yeah, I heard Benny Hill music in the background while that was going on." I was actually thinking on the same on the same wavelength as them because I was thinking Three Stooges music in the background, and yeah, either one would have fit great. I was actually laughing so hard that my wife heard me while she was sleeping in the other room. So um, that's how uh, that's how funny that. You was. know what I was thinking? What's that? Penalty on Minnesota. Josh Dobbs illegal forward pass declined. Is all you needed in that whole thing, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the uh, that's actually the Cliff Notes version of the novel that actually happened, which. You know, that would be just a summary of the cliff notes is what yes, you're talking about. Yes. So yeah, for for goodness sakes. Um, and the Bears did what no team has done in the last fifty years. Yeah. They have won a game while mm -hmm. allowing a touchdown and not scoring one themselves. Yeah. yeah. So and not even scoring one themselves. Um, period. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Even, well they gave up one touchdown and they didn't score, so yeah. a touchdown. Yeah, but they, they didn't even even taking out the fact that they gave up a touchdown, they still have been the last team in in, in fifty years to, to lose that way. Not to win that touchdown. way. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, to win that way without scoring a touchdown. So, um, yeah, I, I will say this about the Bears, though. Um, for those of you who are out there and you take notes at this point in the season, which is a brilliant idea, 
um, and you should steal that from me, <laughs> about what's going to happen next season, put in your notes Bears defense. The reason I say that is because if you look back from um, week one to, to now, that team has vastly increased uh, their defense. Yeah. So keep that on your radar for next year. Keep an eye on it through the rest of this year. Um, and like I said, I would highly recommend you do that with a lot of different players. Um, definitely keep notes on it. Prepare for next year. I know this year's not over. Uh, playoffs are coming, but you know what? Prepare for next year as well. Another thing to look at, though, I know we didn't talk about this, but um, Cleveland Browns are on a historic pace for defense. Um, they are giving up about 238 yards per game on defense. The next closest team, I think, was the 2005 Vikings, 250 yards per game. So, wow. Yeah, watch that. That's that's huge, guys. Um, so watch their last couple games. They probably won't make the playoffs because um, that division is just too. Baltimore heavy so right. but um keep an eye on that because they could set a historic NFL record and not only beat it but they're going to blow it out of the water if yeah that's, they can shut yeah, down the last couple opponents that's a huge gap too if you think about that over over the the 12 weeks of, that we've already played yeah that's a that's a lot 12 of yards. yards is huge guys that's, so that's, that's a lot of yards it's like a, an entire game for some teams I would have thought San Fran maybe had that record this year but it's Cleveland so that's crazy <laughs> isn't that nuts yeah um, so enough about the Bears. We I, I try not to talk about the Bears too much. Being a huge Bears fan, I try not. By the way, nice shirt. Thanks, man. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I try not to. Oh, talk a nice about, shirt, by the way. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Yeah. It, you know who this is? It's Josh Allen. Well, it's Allen Josh. Could be Josh Allen. Yeah. True. Okay. Um. Anyway, nice shirt. Though. Thanks, man. Nice shirt to yourself. Thank you. Um. But. Anyway, um, so enough about the Bears. That was that was comical. That was great. Um, was this when we were getting our pictures taken for the cover of Jackass magazine, or yeah, okay, Jack and Ass. Yeah, take your pick. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, enough about the Bears. Um, I try not to to focus on it too much, and and you know, being a Bears fan, it's hard to, not to do that. Hey, I'm but, a Cards fan. You're a Bears fan. We're guys. We're still. We're, we're in struggling. high spirits, so we're, we're, we're yeah. still struggling, but happy. Yes, about it. we're struggling, but happy. Um, so, um, do you want to move on to Womp? Oh no, actually, you know what? Let's talk about our our record, our overall. Yes, record. our overall record for um, four leagues. So I'm eight and four. We're seven and five, aren't we? Yeah. In our league. Yep. Allen's two solo leagues, eight and four, seven and five. So overall, we're thirty and eighteen. That's just above sixty-one percent. Yeah. So we're doing pretty good yeah. as, as a whole. Um, we, you know, I don't know if we take each other's advice an awful lot, but something's working for both of us. So, um, and I was telling Josh, it's kind of funny. Of all the leagues that I have, I have three leagues that I'm on. The 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 league that he and I are on probably has the best lineup, but the the the, the most lacking record. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's kind of weird how that works. Um, welcome to fantasy football, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> all right. You want, now you want to jump into WAMP or you want to talk? Well, about we're going to talk about playoffs real quick, aren't we? Okay. Yeah, we can um, do that. So, guys, this is the last uh, last two weeks before you go into the playoffs. Now, yep. one thing that I'm seeing in, in my solo league that I'm in, a lot of waiver transactions are still being done. Guys are picking up our receivers, running backs, tight ends. They're probably due to injuries and, and buys, I would think. I, I understand that, but week 13 of the season, unless you're just picking up a defense or a kicker, you should have your lineup, your backups already shored up. Okay, okay. So, so that being said... On our league, we had to pick up a wide receiver and a running back this week because because of injuries. <laughs> right, right, right. So and lack of talent uh, uh, available, I should say. Yes. Um. So we did that. We who did we pick up? We picked up uh, Curtis Samuel and no, we didn't pick up Curtis Samuel. No, we didn't. Oh, I wanted Samuel, and you wanted. Okay, I don't even remember. You well, perfect. So you you wanted you wanted P Ryan. I wanted uh no I wanted Charbonnet and Samuel. And if not Samuel, then P Ryan. Okay, so we picked up P Ryan. We got P Ryan. And we got the guy that I wanted, a name from the past, Cooks. Brandon Cooks, yeah. Brandon Cooks, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna see how that works for us this week. Um, it's just a one week fill in. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that works. I didn't realize how tiny Brandon Cooks was till I've seen him. He's, he's a I, short dude. I know till I saw him in the Dallas Cowboys uniform. Mm -hmm. He looks like a. He looks like a little kid standing next to C.D. Lamb. He, he's like 20, uh, 28, I think, or 20, 28 or 29. Mm -hmm. And he's still pretty fast. 
he's still got some legs underneath him. Yeah. So keep that on your fantasy radar. Oh, interesting fact. Um, Trisha and I were looking last week because we were curious yeah. what the age difference was between Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Yeah. They're they're only about uh, nine months apart, so they're both uh, thirty four. Nine months, mm, that can mm. happen in nine months. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hmm. All right. But I know you don't care about that. But for anybody that uh, does care, I, I was trying to figure out why we brought that up because you know I didn't ever want to mention her name or Taylor Swift's on this show. Oh my god, Trisha, <laughs> we love you. Sorry. No, no, not her. I was talking about Travis Kelsey. <laughs> Come on, Josh. You started to get me in trouble. I didn't do anything, I swear. I was I was innocent. Yes. Um but anyway, moving on. <laughs> moving on. We're gonna get into Womp. Yeah, let's get into Womp. Oh, B. John Robinson had a big game. We oh, wanna talk did. about that. Yeah, he did have yep. a big game. Um it only took twelve weeks to get there, but uh Algier is an afterthought at this point, and so is Cordero. But man, he he put up a huge game. I don't know if he put up how many did he score? Do you remember? I don't even. I don't know if he outscored Kyron. Kyron, Kyron first game back, week. forty points, guys. Huge Man, week. Kyron Williams, huge week. Huge week. But and yeah, I, I picked him up on on uh, uh, off the waiver wire like two weeks ago. See, that is so stupid. I don't know who dropped him, but hey, thank you. I yeah. appreciate that. Idiot. He scored me forty five. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he might be watching. You might unsubscribe. Don't don't do that. Um, you're not an idiot. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> We're going to get into Womp. So. Let's get into Womp. So last so, week, guys. So real quick, real quick. For those of you who may be new and don't understand what Womp is, because it's a word we made up, but it stands for Wheel of Misfortune. Misfortune is our mascot on the show. She uh, made an appearance last year once. Yep, yep, at, at Halloween. Yep, I think and she's in hibernation now. Maybe we'll, maybe she'll come back for Christmas. We, we might get her back. It's possible. Yeah. It's very possible. So, um... Keep liking and subscribing and sharing just so we can get her back on. Yes. Okay? Cool. Let's let's talk about WAP. Go ahead. All right. What, what last we week, uh, last week we did just a Thanksgiving. Oh, we hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving, by the way. I know I ate a lot, and you did too, didn't you? Oh, my gosh, yes. Way yes. too much. But um, we picked just Thanksgiving Day games. Now, we did kind of up the stakes. Uh, start for a skill position needed to be 15 points. Right. Unless it's a quarterback, 20 points. So That was in the half PPR league. Half PPR league. So. Um, I went 2-3. and three. Alan went 3-2. and two, So we were 500 together. Yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. Um, year to date, 31-18-1. Like, like, and one. Like, like kissing your sister. <laughs> Do you have any sisters? No. Okay, darn You're, it. Do you besides Jordan? <laughs> yes, I have a sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you're not going to kiss her. But anyway... <laughs> Shut up. Okay, we're 31, 18, and 1 on the season. So uh, 62%. So we're hovering right around that 60, 62% on both our records and our so, WAMP. Yeah. So not bad at all. Not bad at all. I don't know who went first last week. Do you? I don't know. And frankly, I don't think anybody cares. Yep, I'll go. All right. So we have to pick a start or sit. From on this matchup. Team. Yeah, yeah we're not team. picking against the spread or uh, over under. Right. So this is just a matchup. Now there's some real cruddy matchups out there, guys. There is. Or real shitty matchups. Oh my god, this is one of them. Is this Arizona? Oh no, good. I know <laughs> Arizona's in purple, but Indianapolis, Tennessee. Um, god, Indian Tennessee. I'm going to sit uh, JT. Well, yeah, I hope you would. He's doubtful, so you probably should. No, he's not. Yes, oh, he you know what he is? Yes. Never mind. I'm going to sit Moss. <laughs> okay, perfect. You're right. Yeah, I was thinking the wrong one. All right. That's a good call, though, with, with JT being down. I wrote Moss. I better put the Z there so I don't think it's Randy Moss. <laughs> Randy Moss. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> All right, so Zach Moss. All right, cool. My turn? Your turn. All right. I wasn't keeping track, so I didn't know. <laughs> Whoever gets that Arizona game is going to... Ooh. Well, San Francisco and Philadelphia. Oh, God. Now, this being said, McCaffrey's an easy start, so I'm not going to go that route. Okay. okay? Um, I'm going to go a little bit deeper on that. Um, Jalen Hurts been struggling a little bit. He had a huge game last week against me, jerk. Pre <laughs> well, I mean, other than when he's playing against yeah. you. Um, but not, not quite what we thought, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not going to go him. Because that's, man, that's going to be a good game. It's going to be a real good game. It is, and we were looking at it. I don't understand why San Fran is a two-point favorite on the road at Philadelphia, one of the toughest places to play. So if you consider that six-point swing in for the automatic three, 
Odds makers are saying if it were in San Fran, they'd be an eight and a half point favorite. There's, I just don't see that. No, I don't. I don't see that either. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go way off the wall. This is gonna be a bent prediction, also. Dallas Goddard. Right. Dallas Goddard. Are you serious? Sit him or start him. I mean. Okay, I think I. Yep. Our great mind thinks alike. So. <laughs> our great womp. So I, I, us, I knew you were going to say Goddard. The reason you said you're going deep. So Yep, yep. I'm going real deep on that. That prediction, baby. Yeah, 15 is not out of the realm of possibilities for him. And they right. miss him in that offense. Jacksonville, Cincinnati. God. Um, I don't like that Cincinnati offense. I got to start Chase, though, because I have him. Why don't you sit Burrow? <laughs> I mean, you were going to sit uh, JD. You so. know what? I forgot, okay? <laughs> it's it's late. It's past our bedtimes. It's after 8 p.m. on a on a school night. So you're starting Chase. I'm starting Chase. All right, cool. I don't like it because I have Jacksonville's D, but I need Chase to have a big game. Yeah. That's, that's one of the things about fantasy football that really drives me crazy. You might have a quarterback playing against your defense. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it's a win and lo lose on both. Obviously, you want your quarterback or your wide receiver, whatever it is, to do better. Yeah. But... Still, you hate losing points on, on defense. So, all right, my turn. That's what's got me bent this week. Okay. Having to this is a good one, I think. Points. I think this is Dallas. Nope. Kansas City and Green Bay. Ooh. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we're, we're definitely sitting uh, Aaron Rodgers then. Um, Kansas City. Well, man, this is hard. Because there's. I, I want to go big on this, but I don't want to go too big. Um... I'm going to go Rashad Rice. Rashi Rice? Yeah, that's what I said. Rashi Rice. <laughs> Richie Rice. Um, and I, I want to go with a start on him. Okay. I like it. I I like this guy. And the reason I, I, I've mentioned this is because I like this guy and I have for several weeks now. Um, but I, I just have not had an opportunity to pull the trigger as far as picking him up. So he, he's on somebody's team already. Yeah. So, um I just love that prospect, and I think he's going to be a huge. Again, talking about taking notes for next season, take notes right there. That's that's a good one to to watch for. Okay, I got a funny story about Kansas City. Oh, okay. Let's let's. let's hear we, funny by now, we all know about the Travis Kelsey Taylor Swift thing. Um, a friend of mine, I'm not going to mention her name, but she was telling me a funny story about her daughter was going as Taylor Swift for Halloween, and she's got a brother that's a little couple years older than her. Oh, I know who this is. Want me to say it? No. And um, anyway, she goes, uh, honey, you should go as Travis Kelsey. And he said, ew, mom, that's gross. I'm not going to go as Maddie's boyfriend. <laughs> so I just thought that was funny as heck. So <laughs> there you go. So, all right. <laughs> oh, before you do that, nice shirt. Thanks, man. Nice shirt. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, this is not the Arizona game, I don't think. I think it's the other opposite side. Seattle versus Dallas. Ooh. Um, I got to start Lamb. You get all the easy ones. No, I would have said Dak, because Dak's probably going to have a huge game, but I want him to not because I'm playing against him. So. Oh, I, I have him on my... I have Chase and I have Lamb. I need those guys to do well. I have him on my team, man. Sorry. Got to root against you this week. Yeah. In my matchup between myself and the other person, the other guy in my league I'm playing against, we have five people going on Thursday combined. I got the Chargers in New England. Oh, gross. My gross. <laughs> and I'm, I'm definitely not picking Herbert. Because do you start him or sit him? You sit him. But by the time I do that, he's going to blow up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, and Keenan Allen, no. Can you start anybody from New England? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Maybe the kicker? Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> They're not going to get in field goal range. Are you kidding me? Probably um, not. I'm going to go with, oh man, I hate to do this. I'm going to go with Eckler as my start. Okay. Um, I've got him on my couple leagues. <coughs> so... I hate to do that because I don't have as much confidence in him as I used to, but he's had two fumbles in the last two games, which hurts. But he's one hell of a running back when he's solid, mm -hmm. and he's durable. Um, I'm going to go with Eckler to start. i got to do it. Okay. That's not a bad call. That's the only guy you really can start. Yeah. and I mean, I could bench Herbert and be okay with it, but, again, by the time I do that... 
Ooh, Ooh. that's a new one. Wow. Please don't be the Denver game. Miami and Washington. Miami and oh. Washington. <coughs> You're right, I do get all the used ones. You gotta start Hill. I mean, it's no brainer. No brainer that I'm right. You're absolutely correct. On that one. <coughs> right, so I'm gonna, which crappy game am I gonna get now? Oh, look, that one. Okay. Yeah, I don't want that green one because I see when you're going, I hope it's not good. No, the yellow one's the one you don't want. Cleveland and the Rams. Now, there's Are a no brainer. You're gonna start Kyron. There's a no brainer right there. Um,. You know what? I may go out of... Nope. Kyron. <laughs> Forget it. Kyron. You're sitting him? No, I'm starting him. Okay, don't, good. Don't start with me. I have him, so I need him to have a big game. So do I. I, I still have... lost, even though he put up 40 last week. I won, even though I put up 40. I know. Damn it. This is the Arizona game. <laughs> Arizona and Pittsburgh. Oh, my see, God. See, Who do you sit is see, the question. Hold on. You, you should let me do the WAMP every week. You should let me write that stuff on there because I won't remember. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. I knew the Arizona game was in purple. So, God, I love you guys, but you suck. Um, Arizona, Pittsburgh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start Kyler. Let's start Kyler. God, I'm going to eat my words. <laughs> Just because I'm a fan, I fart. You know what? That's actually not that bad, though. Uh, that's that's not as bad of a pick as you could have made by 30. <laughs> Thanks, there for laughing at me. Oh, you know what? I could start Warren. That, this, that, <laughs> that kills me because I was just going to say, if you'd have picked Warren, that would have been worse. I don't see it. I have Warren starting this week, so I, I need him to. I need him to go big. Look, man. Look, look. I get it. I get it. But don't bet with your your heart. Bet with your head. We're not betting. If I was betting, I would pick all the opposite of everything I pick. So. All right, you want to bet on all those then? No. Damn. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm starting Kyler. So. Even though I don't want to, but I'm all starting right. Kyler. All right. Let's see. How many times do you think I have to spin it to get to this one? Uh, that many times. Once. Once. Okay. Does it have to go around all the way once? Before Is this the Denver game? No, it's not. No, I'm kidding. It's Denver and Houston. It's the last one. Oh, dude. gross. That's the worst one. Denver That's and the... Houston. Sit Judy. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> yes. And sit Wilson. And... Wait, Judy is injured, dude. Is he? Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks for him. <laughs> All right, sit Wilson then. Okay. I don't care. I got him as a backup. He sucks. <laughs> no offense, Russell. Yeah, no offense. No offense. <laughs> hey, I like that. No offense. That might be my team name next year. Oh, God. No Please offense. don't. Noah. All right, this is getting out of here. Noah. God, there were some really gross games on there. The two worst were right next to one another, the yeah. Arizona and the, yeah, and the Denver game. Actually, Arizona, I probably would have started Kyler, too. I mean, Well, who else can you start? I mean, I mean he, you, there's a long list he, of guys you can sit. He, he's probably your best bet to, to go either way, you know what I mean? Yeah, so no. we both have four starts and one sit. No. So. Well. Interesting, interesting. Hopefully we go 8 and 2 or 10 and 0. Oh. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> we would like to ask you guys to like, subscribe and share and, you know, get our video out there. Um uh, again, we do this just for fun. Uh, we have a blast doing it. Uh, we get to drink a beer every week, so that's always cool. Um if we you're... did get paid, then we're really crappy for for Drink, drinking beer is cool unless you're under 21, then it's not cool. Yes. Right? Okay. Right. Anyway, and that reminds me, if any kids are watching, please, 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 just don't turn this off. Just don't tell your parents, okay? Um, anyway, what were you saying, Josh? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I'm saying if we're earning a sal if we're getting a salary from this, then we're definitely not earning it, so. Yeah, that's that's for sure. And, <laughs> by the way, you're not getting paid again this week. Oh, um, crap. Now, crap. Neither, neither am I. So, well, that's okay. okay. Um, but definitely, please, uh Send our video out there. Get some people um, watching us and see um, see if we can't have a lot more fun with this. We want you guys also to put some comments down there. Yeah. Um, anything random. You you want advice um, on who to start, who to sit. Be happy to, to help you out by giving you the wrong answer so you can figure out who to actually start. And start. Yes, um, yes. Be fantastic. Actually, if you look at our record, we'll give you some darn good advice, won't we, Josh? Yeah, we're... Yes. Above sixty percent on both record and wow. So. Yeah, so we're we're awesome. 
Um, <laughs> God, remember this time last year we were like 40%? Yeah, yeah. And we sucked. Yeah. But now we're awesome. Yeah, we're awesome. But nice shirt, too, by the way. Thanks, man. Nice shirt. Oh, thanks, man. Yes, yeah. Is that coming? Does that one come in adult sizes too, or no? No, because no, I'm. Oh yeah, it does. Because I'm wearing one. Obviously not. It does not. <laughs> uh, but thanks for asking, though. Yeah. Um, all right. So, I guess you know, the playoffs coming up. Um, it's gonna be a tight, tight squeeze at the end. You have to. It is. You, you have to. You're either on the bubble, like I told you before. Either you're winning or you're watching, right? Yeah. Um. So if you're not watching Ben on fantasy football, then just get Ben. On fantasy football. Worst ending ever. Yeah. That was cool, though. Yeah. No, it sucked. 